Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mezami and I'm from Singapore. And today we're gonna take a look at DT's VMIC D4 Duo. Let's go. All right, before we carry on, I just wanna say thank you to DT for giving me an opportunity to review this microphone. But as a disclaimer as well, I just wanna let you guys know that I am not paid by DT to say good stuff about this microphone. All opinions are my own. I try my best to give you guys a very honest review of this product right here. All right, guys, if you like this kind of content on this channel, feel free to hit the like button and leave a comment below. I'll try my best to reply to every single one of you guys. And if you haven't done so, feel free to hit the subscribe button because that'll really mean a lot to me. All right, onwards to the review. All right, before we go into unboxing, let's take a look at what DT Microphones has got to say about their VMIC D4 Duo Dual Capsule. So it is marketed as the world's first dual directional video microphone, and it does have a dual capsule design that allows you to simultaneously capture sound from in front of and behind your camera, which is great for vlogging, especially if you are to speak to people and do interviews and things like that while running and gunning with your camera. I think it's perfect. Uh, there's a dual cardioid pickup patterns and low noise circuitry, uh, auxiliary input for lavalier microphones and wireless receivers which is what we're going to test later on uh, there's no need for batteries and there's a quarter inch and three eight inch threaded mounting options which is great especially if you want to mount it on a camera or a boom pole you can do either or uh, what you get inside the box we're going to take a look at what's inside the box in a fair bit but basically there's going to be a d4 duo there's going to be um, fake fur windscreens i don't know how to pronounce that word uh, we have a Ryko liar shock mount and a yellow 3.5 mm trs to trs cable actually i kind of appreciate the fact that it does come in a yellow color because man black cables are hard to find if they drop on the floor sometimes especially in the studio yellow color is just striking is so much easier to see now here's the juicy part when it comes to specifications the frequency response for this particular microphone here is 50 hertz to 20 kilohertz uh, capsule size is 14 mm pickup patterns dual cardioid uh, capsule type is pre-polarized uh, sensitivity is front minus 42 to plus or minus 3 decibels for the rear it's minus 51 or plus or minus 3 decibels so which means that for the rear microphone it is about 10 decibels less in terms of uh, uh, audio input when it comes to sensitivity um, which, which I think is great because uh, the microphone is definitely a lot closer to you because uh, uh, you're standing in closer proximity to the camera and the microphone itself. Um, maximum SPL is at 120 decibels. Microphone type is passive, operating voltage, external bias voltage, auxiliary input connector 3RS, 3.5 mm, auxiliary input voltage 2 to 5 VDC, output connector TRS 3.5 mm, output type dual mono or stereo, uh, material it's made of aluminum which is great because it lasts very long and in hand it does feel good, dimensions 21 mm by 93.5 mm in terms of diameter and height respectively and weight very important 40 grams because the less weight you have on that camera when you run around with your vlogging device or your vlogging camera equipment um, it's, it's gonna be a lot more helpful in the long run as well. All right, let's go straight into the unboxing, shall we? All right, let's go ahead and unbox the VMIC D4 Duo by Deity. Front and center, you can see the picture of the microphone here on top of a mirrorless camera. I can't assume what camera brand it is, but on the side, you can see that they have the, the branding and the logo and all that. Uh, on the back, it says here in the feature section, it is easy to use, no batteries needed. You can switch between mono and stereo very easily. And there's an auxiliary audio input for lavalier microphones, which is very useful, by the way. And it also includes two times furry windscreens, which is fantastic. And on the side here, the main key features for this product here, it says no batteries are needed. There's wind protection because of the windscreens and there's a right coat shock mount included as well, which is fantastic. So let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. So first of all, let's just go ahead and pull this part uh, and drag the microphone out. Uh, very simple, very simple unboxing really. Um, it's just two items inside. Here we have the microphone here. We're just gonna put it right over here. And right here we have the cable. Um, it's gonna suck. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, so we do have, um, huh, there's no, nothing else inside the box. Okay, there, there's a warranty card here. There's no manual. I think they didn't include a manual for this, uh, this, this. <laughs> this particular box but it's okay no worries uh, so this cable here it is not meant for use with a smartphone device this is definitely used for cameras normally when DT actually has got cables meant for smartphone they actually have 
a small little sticker that shows that it's for the smartphone. Such is the case for my V-Mic D4 Mini. All right, so let's take a look at the microphone capsules itself. You can see here there's the two windscreens or dead cats, if you will. I'm just gonna pull it apart so you can see the microphone capsule in its entirety. Uh, both sides, there we go. So this is how the microphone actually looks like. So you can see here, it is a very, very simple um, design. Uh, looks like a lightsaber from Star Wars. <laughs> there's actually a, a few key features about this guy. Uh, you can see there's an input jack over here as well as an output jack. And it's mounted on this um, Rikot shock mount, which I can't seem to get off the microphone. It is very, very tight. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so we do have it all disassembled. And now you can see what actually comes in the box, all right? So let's take a look closely at the capsules again. So you do have a front capsule, which is over here, and a back capsule, which is over here. And you can see there's a tab here that switches between the capsules as well as the channels. And you can see there's an input jack and output jack, and that's pretty much it. The symbols actually are uh, allocated to the various capsules, or, or rather two capsules that are available on this microphone. Um, there's one over here and there's one over here. So pay attention to them when you make the switch between this tab. Um, of course, if you push it forward, it will activate only the front capsule. And if you push it backwards, it will activate both front and back capsule. And um, from my understanding, if you are using um, both capsules, the front capsule will be recorded on the left channel and the back capsule will be recording on the right channel. When it comes to the windscreens, you have two of them. Uh, they are slightly different in sizes. One of them is obviously for the back one and one of them is for the front. You can't really tell apart which is which other than the fact that the one that is for the back is slightly smaller. The Ryko shock mount comes in the Gatis copper colors, yellow, which is really nice. I, I do like yellow as well. Uh, it is very, very good to actually have one of these mounted on a hot shoe or a cold shoe. So when you move around, it does not pick up the sound of your movement at all. So this is actually very, very useful. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at how it functions. Let's test this out. Okay, so this is a DT VMIC D4 Duo with the front capsule active. There is a helicopter flying in the background and there's also a little bit of wind. I'm not sure it's picking up any of those, but the microphone should be picking up my voice very clearly without having any wind issues. Because the dead cat is on right now, um, it should take away most of the wind sounds. And um, since the back capsule is not active, it shouldn't pick the sound of the helicopter that's flying in the back of the camera. So if I were to switch away from myself, I'm gonna turn the camera around right now really quickly. Um, you should be able to hear the helicopter, but not so of me. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, the helicopter's gone. That, that kind of sucks. But it's okay. Uh, you should be able to hear my voice still. So I'm just gonna narrate to you guys right now what I'm looking at. Look at that, it's a bunch of trees. Wow, fascinating. And, and that's my, uh, my secondary uh, camera. Um, it's been paid by the hour. All it has to do is just sit there and record. How, how fun. This is the front capsule uh, active. The back capsule is not active. So you should be able to hear my voice still. Um, but it's not gonna be as fantastic as it would have been if the back capsule is active. All right, now I'm gonna switch over to both capsules being active front and back. Okay, so now we actually have got both front and back capsules active. Uh, so if I were to spin the camera around, it should be able to pick up my voice both front and back. Um, but front capsule will be recording on the left channel, back capsule will be recording on the right channel. So in post, I'll probably have to like combine them both together. So right now there's a motorbike just went past uh, on the street across um, from where I am right now. 
and uh, the back capsule should have like uh, captured the sound from the motorbike okay so I'm now gonna switch the camera around and once again we're looking at our lovely assistant here um, you can hear my voice um, from the back of the camera now uh, going to channel 2 and there's a lot of noise coming from the front so it's all going to channel 1 I'm just I'm just like yeah I'm just staring at the camera it's a staring contest right now hooray it's starting to rain here in Singapore there's a bit of drizzle going on uh, it's been very very erratic in terms of behavior for the weather lately so I don't know probably we'll see a bit of a storm tonight I'm not so sure but these days the weather has been really crazy here in Singapore so it's very hard to do an outdoor shoot so I'm trying my best to make the most out of it today before I have to run back indoors to make sure that all my camera gear stays dry but this is the D4 Duo without the dead cat so you can see that there's a bit of wind or right, you can hear a little bit of wind right now there we go um, I do feel the wind I hear the, the train in the background so right now only the front capsule is active I just did a double check there um, the wind is blowing to the mic directly so you should be able to pick up some of the sound from the wind and now if I were to flip it around again there's no dead cat on both sides you might hear a bit of a snap because I just you know flip the monitor screen on the back of the camera down but you can see here that I'm facing my lovely assistant once again with the back capsule uh, actually facing me right now it shouldn't pick up much of my voice because um, I'm facing away from the camera but uh, again without a dead cat you can probably hear a little bit of wind as well and now I'm gonna turn on I'm gonna turn on the okay now I'm gonna turn on the the dual capsule mode Okay, now with the dual capsule mode, you can hear my voice very clearly from the front. Again, this is without the dead cat, so it should be picking up a little bit of the wind. Um, <laughs> see, there's a bit of drizzle right now. You should be able to pick up a little bit of the wind with the wind blowing directly into the camera right now, uh, or into the microphone right now rather. Um, but you should be able to hear sounds from the back of the camera as well. So when I flip this camera around, you should be able to hear my voice very clearly when I speak into the microphone from the back capsule. Oh look, there's a train again, and there's my lovely assistant. All right, so now you can hear my voice very clearly. I'm in an arm, arm's length away from the camera. Uh, you can hear my voice going into the microphone from the back capsule. Um, it should be good and clear, uh, but yeah, so it, it, it's, it's all good. All right, um, again, you can hear a lot of ambient sound. You can hear a bit of wind. The dead cat is not on, um, but this is how the duo functions. Wow, that was a very loud fart from a bus. <laughs> okay, so now I'm at the void deck of a block of HDB flats and it's kind of windy right now so you should be able to pick up a little bit of the sound of the wind if the wind card is not on. But here's the most important thing, I have the front cap selective, the back cap is not active right now. You should be able to hear a little bit of echo from the void deck, you should be able to hear a little bit of the streets as well. We're going to change that a little bit with a wireless transmitter and a wireless receiver and a lot of let's go check it out and I am back this time around I actually have got a lovely mic clipped onto my collar and it's connected to a wireless transmitter as well as a wireless receiver which is connected to my duo which is on top of the camera now I know it sounds like a quite a bit of a mouthful but hear me out this is actually the best way to work especially in a noisy environment or if you have an interviewee who is standing very very far away from the camera and the dual mic system itself. So even if I'm standing this far apart from the camera, you can still hear me quite clearly and the sound shouldn't actually be interfered by the sound from passing vehicles or even the train or even uh, whatever it is that's you know disrupting your sound and all that during recording. But right now, as it is, it should sound really good. I'm just gonna try the wind card onto the microphone itself to see how it fares when we use a Lavalia in a windy space. Here we go. Okay, now I'm back. Do you see the difference right now? We actually have got this furry little thing here. This is another dead cat for the Lavalier mic, of course. So the Lavalier mic is still connected to my wireless transmitter, which is connected still to the wireless receiver, which is connected still to the Duo. All right, so now I'm just gonna continue talking while I'm walking away backwards. Uh, there is a little bit of wind here coming from my right side, but it shouldn't be picked up by the microphone at all. In fact, the wind cut should do its job. 
and I think it's doing a fantastic job right now, cutting away and isolating the noise away from my voice. So you can hear me clearly, you don't actually get to hear the wind. Um, vehicles are still passing by here. Well, actually there's none right now. Seems like there's a bit of a, ah, oh, there we go. I'm not sure if you guys can hear them, but there are vehicles going past right now. Like, like for real. I can just show you guys really quickly. There we go, see? Vehicles. And now even though I'm standing behind the camera, you can still hear me quite clearly. So that's the beauty of actually using a Levadium mic connected to a wireless transmitter, to a wireless receiver, to the Duo itself. Of course, all the voice will be actually recorded on channel two. So in post, you gotta be very careful and actually make sure that the voice is correctly placed on your timeline. Let's get back to the studio for real this time. Hey guys, uh, a thing to note here when you are editing in post, especially on software such as Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, make sure that you have your audio channels correctly selected. So in this case, for example, in this particular scene during this review video, when I'm talking into the Lavalier mic, I am originally uh, recorded on both channels still. So let's take a look. Receiver, which is connected still to the Duo. All right, so now... So the Duo is actually uh, getting input from both the left and right channel, which means it's recording on both front and back capsules. So in order to isolate the sound from the back capsule and just focus on the sound from the Levity mic, I need to do this. All right, go into audio channels and make sure that both the media source channels are selected to the right side. And hear the difference. I'm just gonna continue talking while I'm walking away backwards. Uh, there is a little bit of wind here coming from my right side, but it should... So that's something for you guys to take note as well when you're working with the DT uh, VMic D4 Duo. It is always very important to double check your channels and make sure that your audio is synced to the right spot in your timeline. Otherwise, you will have some issues with your audio. Right, back to the review video. To be honest, I really like the microphone because of the fact that it's made of metal, the whole design is really good, the quality is really decent, and for the price, I think it's pretty okay. But there is a big issue with it. For me, as a live streamer who actually uses an, a, a smartphone to go out there and do some IRL streams or in real life streams, I can't actually use it uh, to the 100% potential that it is made and designed for. I can't use the back capsule, I can't separate the sound, I can only use the front capsule during a live stream. Which is such a shame because when I am live streaming, sometimes I'm behind the camera and do not want to flip it around, I still want to record sound from the front and the back, but that is not possible with a smartphone device. In fact, that's a very telling reason why the, the mic didn't actually come with a, a, a smartphone cable. So it is very unfortunate, but it is what it is, and I really hope that they will actually come up with something, maybe a Mark II version that actually allows us to do this. The fact that it does not use a battery really is a wonderful thing because you know uh, the last thing I want is to make the microphone heavy uh, I do not want to uh, I, I do not want to have to worry about another power source just to power up a microphone um, and the fact that the microphone actually has got both input and output jacks available giving me the opportunity or the the, the, the ability to use another uh, sound device like for example another level yeah, or you know for some strange reason if you want to connect another microphone you can do that as well so here are my final thoughts who is this designed for exactly I think it's great for vloggers, I think it's great for people who need to run and gun and do interviews because this microphone actually serves as a dual purpose. You can actually use it to record sounds in front of you as well as sounds behind a camera. So if you are doing a solo interview, I think it's great. Uh, for its price, I think it's a no-brainer to actually get this inside your video production kit. I highly recommend this. I'll probably give you about maybe about 8 out of 10. I mean, I can use it for live streaming, but you know, the fact that I can't use it as um, the fact that I can't use the the back capsule in order to get my voice when I'm streaming, it's it's just so unfortunate. Yeah, too bad. The DTV Mic D4 Duo is currently available in Amazon Singapore for $114.90 in Singapore dollars currency. If you guys use the link in the description below, I will get a small little Amazon affiliate program commission and that will actually help with the channel growth. Truly appreciate it. Thank you so much in advance. All right guys, so that's it for my thoughts on the DTV Mic D4 Duo. Honestly, I think they should totally have a better naming convention because it's really way too long. It's very hard for me to actually remember that. I mean, like, okay, on paper it looks kind of short, but when it comes to memorizing it for this review, man, I had so many 
takes done just to have the name pronounced correctly. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. If you guys can, feel free to follow me on Twitch. Or if you guys want to, uh, feel free to, again, hit the subscribe button on the YouTube channel. Uh, that will really mean a lot. If you guys want to hang out with me, feel free to join the Discord server. Links are all in the description below. All right, till then, see you next time. Bye-bye.